finish one that you want to hear as soon as it's over. Again, maybe someone else said it, but I compare a song to like um, like a beautiful woman walking in the room. Like when I first see them, I'm like, wow, they're beautiful. And that to me is like the melody of a song. But then if I we talk and there's you know more to them and they're very interesting and intelligent and uh, fun. I feel like that's the lyric to the song, and then I want to talk to them again and again. And I feel like that's, you know, the song has to have both those things. Um, the ultimate love song, you know what I mean? But I think everybody goes up and down. You know, when you, when you, uh, you know, I think about. Um, like Billy Joel, for example, like some of the songs that he's written, like, you know, I would love to write a song like, uh, She's Always a Woman or Just the Way You Are, you know, like, something like that, and then he, you know, he's written so many different types of songs, and I, you know, I think, I think they're both very powerful places to come from, I think they both have their value, and I, I think just as a normal human being, I, I would like to explore the, um, the breadth of my emotional scenario, you know, I want to, I'm not going to be happy my whole life, you know what I mean? I know that well well enough, you know, and I'm not going to be sad my whole life. I, I know that they want more songs from me, so I can totally oblige them that. I will I will be always putting out songs, honestly, like, you know, uh, two of my biggest inspirations of people that passed away in this last year, it's like, um, as far as output, are like David Bowie and Leonard Cohen. I mean, the two records that they put out right before they died at like, you know, age 70 and 80, whatever they were, um, it's a huge inspiration. I mean, I want to I want to write songs until the year I die. So um, they can count on that. I don't know if there'll be hits. In the